this, you know, we came up with a way to change the focal depth to match where you're looking uh, by moving the lenses dynamically, kind of like how autofocus would work on a camera. And this is known in the industry as varifocal technology. So in 2017, um, the team built a prototype version of a Rift that had mechanical varifocal displays that could deliver a proper depth of focus. And it used eye tracking to tell where you were looking uh, and real-time distortion correction to compensate for the magnification effects of moving the lenses and any rendered blur. So that way only the things that you were trying to, to look at were in focus, um, just like if you, if you were trying to look at something close by in the physical world. Right. And then once they had that prototype, they ran a study to see if people actually preferred this varifocal technology. And on one day, they would enable varifocal fully on the prototype, and on the other, they would just operate it in fixed focus mode. And what they found was that the majority of participants preferred varifocal over fixed focus VR. They were more comfortable in every respect. They experienced less fatigue and blurry vision. They were able to identify small objects better. They had an easier time reading text and they reacted to their visual environment more quickly. So here's the prototype. And, um, and once we had this feedback, um, the team put all their energy into getting the size and weight down um, and expanding the field of view. And the, the series of prototypes that they built, which we call Half Dome, um, ended up using fully electronic varifocal uh, based on liquid crystal lenses, which are, are much smaller. And, and even with all this progress, there's still a lot more work to do to get the, the performance of the varifocal hardware fully optimized, um, while also making sure that the eye tracking um, is reliable enough to make this work. So you know, th this sort of feature needs to work for everyone all the time. So, so it's a very high bar. Um, but, but after resolution and focus, um, you know, th there are other things that we need to work on too. Another major challenge um, is the distortion that's produced by VR optics, like, like the kind that are in here. 